Good morning. It is a cozy October morning today. We are taking it slow this morning. I woke up with a headache, so I'm trying to ease that a little bit. It is nine o'clock and I feel like we are slightly behind, but again, I'm trying to tell myself it's okay and take a slow day. Um, we are making bacon for breakfast now. We are having friends over tonight for dinner. We're gonna do bread bowls and soup. And one of the soups I'm making is a loaded potato soup. So I need bacon for that. Um, we're gonna cook off all the bacon, have breakfast, and we do have some regular Friday chores to do. Yeah, I'm cooking bacon, it's cooking. Once we're done with breakfast, I'm gonna prep the soups and then we'll just do some regular Friday things. I was thinking of doing like a scavenger hunt sensory bin, so we'll go for a walk and pick up some fall things and then we'll do a sensory bin. Thinking after nap, but we might do the walk before nap. I would like to finish our hands. <laughs> they are dried the second time was the charm in the oven with them. So I'd like to finish those. What? Thank you, baby. Oh, be careful with that, honey, please. Thank you, baby. Cheese. I thought we would just spend some time together on this cozy October day. Who are you tickling? Do you see yourself? Can you see yourself in here? There we go. I took a little break <laughs> now we're back at it I got the soup prepped and ready I have to finish it up later before we actually eat it so we'll leave that for a little while while it cooks until the potatoes are cooked all the way and then we'll see what time it is I may just turn it down until it's time to eat and then put whatever else I need to put in there bacon is gonna finish up now and while that is finishing up I'm going to do the bread bowls I've never done this before so I really don't know what size to do them but I have two loaves of bread in each bowl. I have three bowls. I'm planning to make a lot of bread bowls. Um, we don't know how many people are exactly coming tonight. I know at least six will be there, so I'm gonna do six, which will be one bowl, I think. I don't know. I made way too much bread. I think I can get six bread bowls out of each bowl here, and I have three bowls, so I would definitely be making a lot of bread bowls. One of them, I said to my aunt, I would give her a full loaf. So I'm going to do that and make that off separate. Um, but let's just get started and see how many we get get made. And we'll, we'll do that while the bacon's cooking. Okay. Too small if I do this. This is gonna be like a dinner roll. So at first 
I thought, well I did the first one for sure, is a little bit on the smaller side. But I think that they'll be the right size when they do bake off. So I'm gonna powder them and then typically I use a banneton basket. But I don't have banneton baskets this size. I'm gonna refrigerate them until, hey baby Graham, please don't do that. Thank you. I'm gonna refrigerate them until it's time to actually bake them off and do like a cold ferment for a little while. So this is the perfect size. Um, we'll see how they turn out. Where did my other stack of bowls go? I'm hoping they'll be the right size, but they could always get another one. I think I'm gonna just make a few extras and then they could have another bread bowl. I line it with a paper towel and I do just a little bit of flour because I typically use a banneton basket, but I don't have banneton baskets this size. And like I said, this is perfect. We'll just stick them in the fridge for a little while. And then when it's time to bake them, I think they'll bake off really well. Um, I only have two, I was going to say crock pots, and then I was going to say instant pots. And I'm looking for Dutch ovens. I had three, but one time we had it in the oven and there was a bag inside of it and it melted to the bottom of it. And I wasn't going to try to save it. Well, I mean, I did try to save it, but once I realized I couldn't save it, I wasn't going to waste my time on it. So I'm thinking we might be able to fit two of these in one Dutch oven, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and I'm thinking they probably won't take as long to bake as a huge loaf anyways. So I'm gonna finish this up really quick and then the bacon should be done. Yeah, honey? You wanna make coffee? Okay, we can make coffee. That is six of them. Twelve. Twelve is enough, right? I want to say twelve is enough. I'm sure it is. I painted my nails. Uh, my battery died, so I didn't film this. But I painted my nails after I prepped our bowls and our soup. And I remembered I did this just because I was looking at my face. And they matched my dark circles under my eyes, <laughs> which you can't really tell now because they just put makeup on. But this is them. There's something on my lens. I got to clean that off. It's not a color I would normally choose, but it feels very fall. And next week we're going to Nashville. And when I go to Nashville, Nashville, I booked an appointment at a place called Poppy and Monroe. And they're going to do my nails there. And it looks so cute. And I can't wait to go. And I'm going to do the dazzle polish again there. And it'll also look really nice and feel great to have my nails done. got away from me. Graham has been sleeping for two and a half hours and that does not happen often anymore but he had really poor sleep yesterday so we're giving him a little bit extra time. Um, we are not going to be able to finish everything that I thought we'd finish today. It just it is what it is. I've been having a lot of migraines lately and I have to listen to my body and try to just accept it. So that being said we will continue this tomorrow. We're gonna do our bread bowls and our soup tonight and be cozy and enjoy the fire and do our bucket list items. But we are also gonna do more tomorrow. So tomorrow I do have to work in the morning, but we can do our scavenger hunt, we can do our sensory bin, and we can finish our ghost hands. And we'll see what other fall october -y things we can do tomorrow. So for now, I just started the oven. It is heating up. And I'm going to just continue. I'm cleaning up a little bit because it's a little bit of a disaster in here. And we will host our one friend who is still coming. And it'll just be a nice chill night in the driveway.
Do you, is your tomato soup? All right, so dinner was a success. I think that our bread bowls were a little too small. Next time, instead of cutting a loaf into four, I'll cut them into thirds. And I think I made note of that one time over a year ago that it was a little too big to be a bun, but too small to be a bread bowl. But now I know. And they turned out, I mean, they turned out pretty good. They're still a little, I mean, they're a little tiny, but it held a lot of soup. You could always add more soup. and my bread is like really dense it's very hefty it's not like a light airy loaf so I think it turned out pretty well the boys are downstairs my grandma came for a little bit so I was spending some time down there before cleaning up and now I'm gonna clean up a little bit probably do bedtime with Graham and then after we do bedtime I'll go back downstairs and hang out with the guys so on the agenda for tomorrow I'm not really sure what we have going on we do have to work in the morning we are gonna do our ghost hands we're gonna paint them and put up the garland somewhere we have to find a spot for it and then we also want to do our scavenger hunt because we didn't get to it today I'm hoping tomorrow I won't wake up with a migraine and I'll be ready to go and we can do our scavenger hunt on a walk and we can also do our sensory bin and that'll be a lot of fun because I have a ton of popcorn not popped that will be a really fun bin for him. I think it'd be really nice. It's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. We could go on the balcony and play on the balcony with it so I don't have to worry about corn getting everywhere in here and it could be a good day. So I'm going to clean up the kitchen and we'll call it a night. Good morning, it is the next day. We already got started at work, got things up and running, and I have a full crew today, which is awesome. So I am able to come home and get some things done. I was able to shower, which is always a win. And then I went back and checked on them, and now I'm going to clean up because we are gonna have lunch here, and I don't want them to be grossed out. So we're going to clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna go check on them again, and then we'll come back and do some more things around the house. I'm hoping we can get a lot of stuff done this morning. That way when Graham does come home to us later, we can just play and have a fun Saturday. So let's start cleaning up.
so it's been a pretty chill day just taking care of the house it was so nice to have help with work this morning we just picked up Graham from his nap and let him have milk and chill for a little while longer now we're gonna go for our scavenger hunt so let's head out Should we put that in our bin? Uh, Thank you. Oh, oh wait, yeah. we're keeping that one, thanks. Are we helping the squirrels? All right, we are just getting back from our walk. They're still coming up the stairs. Always takes a little bit of extra time. I have this tub I'm gonna use as our sensory bin, and I'm thinking we'll do it out on the balcony since we got the balcony already a few weeks ago, and it is really nice out. It's kind of like summer. It's almost 80 degrees. So I figured we could have a nice night on the balcony. You all ready to do our sensory bin? <gasps> Whoa, good job. But this one is quite corny. Okay. There you go. Good job. We found sticks. Hi. This pretty leaf. Good you. Real quick. Crushing it. How about some. And how about. are dried and now we have to put our eyes and mouths on it um I really don't know how I'm gonna draw the mouths because I'm not an artist by any means but we will glue the eyes on and then I might look up some mouth ideas yes honey I have some googly eyes got these from Target And I don't know what the proper glue would be to use, but we're gonna try hot glue because I grew up with hot glue all the time. So, all right. So these top ghosts, I 
probably kiss me. Those top ghosts are so cute, but I have googly eyes, so they're gonna look like surprised. <laughs> I think that's okay, um, because that's more reflective of the kind of family we are. Okay, so I'm just gonna start early and we'll see how it turns out. Okay. I don't know that the Sharpies are going to work. put it because I think Graham will knock it down if I put it on the fireplace but it would go with the fireplace color so well I'm thinking I'm just gonna hang it up here I made these little loops on the end so I could hook it originally wherever I wanted to hook it but I think I'm gonna tuck them behind and make it a little more taut and then I'll hang them here um, I have just some purple ribbon that I use for like wedding gifts and stuff but I thought it was perfect for Halloween and then I had some orange ribbon that I got from helping a friend with a wedding five years ago because I'm a calf rat and I think I'm going to use that one day and you know what? I am! <laughs> so we're going to use up some of this and I'm going to tie each hand onto the garland and then we'll hang it up there. lopsided garland because I can't think of anything right now to hook it evenly. I may change it throughout the season and I may not because let's be honest it's a busy season and I don't know if I'm going to remember to come back to it but I think it's cute. I think the basic concept worked out. I just don't have a good spot to put it and I don't normally hang things on this stuff but it's there now and this is how it looks. So we're going to leave it and we're going to move on. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking through this project with me as thing after thing did not turn out how I thought it would. But it's real life, isn't it? So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you're not already. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Bye.